Chiefs found their secret sauce last night because they remembered the ingredients. The secret sauce was not anything crazy. It wasn't anything they didn't have. They just remembered the ingredients this time. As I've said before, people that have claimed the Chiefs needed Odell Beckham or another weapon are missing the point. They didn't have other weapons last couple of years that were the difference. They had the same weapons. Mahomes, Hill, Kelsey. Those were the weapons, and everybody else was totally ancillary. If you were focused on that they didn't have another wide receiver, you were missing the point. The point was the Chiefs were looking for the big play before the smart play. And last night they got back to looking for the smart play. Look at how many times they ran on first down. Look at how many short and intermediates or third and shorts they had. Look at how many times on second and third downs they had completely doable, reasonable yardage to get. And they didn't go for the end zone. They went for first downs. Last night, one of the most effective plays they had was Travis Kelsey staying in to block and then releasing and then being three yards downfield. Mahomes hitting them. He's got a blocker and knifing his way through the defense. The touchdowns early that gave the Chiefs the lead were not big throws. We're not broken coverages. We're not sheer speed. They were smart throws and smart reads and smart routes. This was an offense that finally remembered, right, not everything has to be a home run. You could score a lot of runs with doubles off the wall, a few singles, and a walk drawn. And they had just started swinging for the fences on every play up until last night. So, yes, last night is the secret sauce. And, yes, last night can turn around the season if the Chiefs remain disciplined in it, judicious in their decision-making. Yes, it can be the, the turning point. What they did last night is completely doable for them on most, if not all, weeks. But it takes a certain discipline. Look, let's say you've got a high-performance, high-speed vehicle that you can you can put up to 120, okay? And let's say, you know, you've punched it to 100 on the highway in the middle of the night when nobody's around, and you know how that flies, or you've hit 85 and you've zipped around, boom, 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 lane to lane, and you were just cruising. Well, when you pull out of the driveway and need to go to Costco, you don't have to hit 85. You just got to get there, throw the groceries in the back, get back home. But that's what the Chiefs were doing. They had hit 100 before. They knew what that machine could do, and they kept trying to floor it when there wasn't enough space to floor it, and there was no need to floor it. They've got all the weapons they need. Again, nobody ever said Sammy Watkins was the difference in winning a Super Bowl. Without him, they can't do it. The offensive line, by the way, is much improved, if you've noticed. Orlando Brown on the left side of that offensive line has anchored that Mraz, and the interior... These rookies that they got in the interior are finally doing their job as well. Creed Humphrey is actually playing excellent at the center position. He's great. He's great. He's been great. Got an offensive line. You've got one of the best deep threats in the NFL. Maybe the best tight end of the last 15 years. And an MVP at quarterback in his prime. You can do it with that. And And you got Clyde Edwards a layer back next week. Right. And Andy Reid calling plays. You just can't go for the home run every time. And Mahomes was playing irresponsibly and reckless. And that can't be the setup. That's got to be what everything else sets up. And that was the problem. They were playing inverse. Instead of running the football on first down, setting up a second and two or a second and five or a third and one, and then taking their shot or... You've strung together three first downs, and on first down, you take the shot 
on the on the fourth series, they were coming out of the off the kickoff, being like, okay, let's chuck it deep. You know, or on, on second and eight. It's like, oh, let's let's just let's throw downfield and let's have Mahomes run around a million times and you know, try to get the 65-yard touchdown. Or we we trail the game by 17 points, so we got to score now. We trail by 14, we got to score now. Last night was methodical. They were in control. They ran the offense they need to run, and that then set up three or four shots downfield. They didn't even have to connect on them. But that sets up the big play, not vice versa.